This is dubious code with part two of going through the different Manum animation shapes. Uh, so I'll paste this link in the uh, description. And on part one, we got to annular sector, and now let's look at sector. So it represents a sector like part of a pie. Outer radius, start angle, angle, and arc center. So sector, sector. What do we have? Don't have inner radius. Outer radius, start angle, angle, center. Out of radius of two, start angle of 90, radius of 90, and center just places it. Okay, so this should be a pie slice, I think. Uh, fading in, let's create it, go back to create and this is actually tutorial three so we'll fix that and time equals three point. um so that's what 180 degrees you can make a pie slice, it's probably going to be more like 45 degrees. All right, so pie slice is sector, annulus, a ring shape, inner radius, outer radius, and arc center, which is just the uh, where it starts. So inner radius and outer radius. What was it called again? It is an annulus. Inner radius equals one, outer radius equals two. Arc center equals three, zero, zero. Move it off to the right. I expect this to be, look like a washer, I think. Basically a circle with a hole in the middle. Oh. Makes a circle, makes a hole in the middle. Okay, that kind of explains why the annulus sector looked like it did. Alright, line pretty straightforward. Start end. Dash line, start end. Right, let's just start with line. Start equals zero 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 and equals five five zero. Struck with make it a thick eight. Start. All right, should be a line, diagonal line. There we go, off to the top of the screen. Put a dart at the start just for fun. Start at a dot. Now, radius is too wide, but. Okay, so that was line. Now we need dash line, start end, path arc, which is the curve, dash length, positive space ratio, length of each dash. Ratio of, of in one unit of space of ratio in one unit of space to length of one dash. This means that one dash and one blank space occupy 
dash length divided by positive space ratio. Okay, so I think at 0.5 equals, what is it, dash line? Dashed line. Go ahead and end on screen. And what do we have? Dash length and positive space ratio. Length equals 0 0.05. So if space ratio equals 0 0.5. We'll start with the default. Expect a dash line. We don't need the dot. I'll make this a little bigger. All right, a nice dash line. So now I can make the dash length a little bigger, make the positive space ratio a little bigger, and I expect it to be mostly dashes. And the positive space ratio is smaller with the dash length being even bigger. Ah, too much. And I think it said it could, this could be curved too. So path arc, path arc equals math.radians 30. Let's go back to the default here. So now I think we're going to need a curved line. And we saw before I could have made this negative, a negative arc and then it would curve the other direction. All right, tangent line. Object to which the line is tangent. And then it's alpha. Oh, okay. So let's say circle equals circle, green, and radius equals 2.0. We want a tangent line to it. And we need to pass it the object, so vmob equals circle, alpha equals 0.25 is 90 degrees, so maybe 0.125. vmob equals circle, circle. Alpha equals 0.125 and length equals 3. So we expect this to be at about a tangent line of 45 degrees. Yep, that is the line. Make it a little bigger and maybe we'll do something crazy like self.play create actually make the circle that we're making <laughs> that we're making a tangent on what about the length oh oh I didn't actually give it length I spelled that wrong that's why it's defaulted the length of one There we go. 
Now when I get into the animations, it's probably a cool way to make this rotate around the circle. I don't think just transform is going to do it. If I make another one, two, five, and then self.play, transform, line one, into line two. I don't think this is just, I think, I don't think this is going to rotate around. I'm kind of curious. I'm not uh, that versed on how to do it. I'm sure there's a way. I'm trying to curious what's, what'll happen. Okay, so yeah, it does change the other line, but it doesn't roll around the outside of the circle. I'm sure it's why. If you know, let me know. Oh yeah, this is dubious code, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. Okay. Well, how are we doing? We're doing pretty good. We did have done one, two, three, four, five, six. We gotta get maybe two more. Elbow. Perpendicular symbol. Inherit some width. Self-construct triangle, elbow equals elbow. How to place an elbow in a triangle. Doesn't look like the reference is a triangle. With set corners, set width. All right, well, let's just try and say. This is going to be a 90 degree turn. A line that goes 90 degrees is what I assume. The method is not, oh, because it needs to be round parentheses instead of square brackets. It takes two positional arguments. Ah, because I need parentheses and brackets. Yeah, okay, so 90 degrees. What is the width doing here? What happens if I make the width much bigger? Is that the stroke width? What happens if I don't set that? Does it run or does it not have the input? Okay, so that's required. That's unusual. Usually it defaults to something. All right, back to arrow. Start and end. Pretty easy there. does what I expect. Nice arrow. Maybe the last one. Vector. Represents an arrow from the origin to another point. Inherits from arrow. Well, 
Okay, so it's an arrow basically that starts in, in at the and what are we, what's the parameters here? Direction. I don't think it needs to be normalized. So yeah, it just means you don't have to pass in the starting coordinate. Okay, uh, this is dubious code. This is the second third of these shapes, and next time we'll go through the last eight of them. Thanks for watching.